Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and yes, we are still suffering trying to finish this build. Oh my god. It is a tiny bit of hell right here, right now. But it's okay. We are going to not die. Maybe. We'll think about it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get a few of these things over here worked out. Uh, I do want to get this middle section moved in so that we can put in some of the power poles around these structures that we really need to work right now. So let's go and grab that. Let's get rid of this because we don't need it. And see if, well, it will fit. It should fit. I hope it fits. <sighs> uh, let's get this thing and move it in. So let's kind of uh, aim for centering the whole thing. Oh, it looks like we're off by one. That's a bit interesting. Um, I guess we put it there, maybe here. That's actually better because it's one tile closer and each tile matters as we know. Something like that. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, and that will give us space for our um, power poles. Now, of course, with this. Now, these were relying on the power from the smelters, so that's why they have been out of power. They got out of power here. Okay, perfect. So now... Now, 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 we have new stuff. Eh? Oh, these never... Huh. Uh, that's not ideal. Somehow these other things got... never got deleted or something? I'm not really sure what happened here. But we definitely need to replace this blueprint, the big blueprint. I hope I still have it. But I don't. Oh, that's not good. Okay, it'll be fine though. It will be fine. We'll fix it. We will get from, from the end. We will collect. We actually don't need the boxes at the end. That we do not need. But this is the the blueprint for the thing. So we will add the thing. I don't know how many were damaged. We'll just do it halfway or more than halfway, something like that. How's that? Does that work? Yes. Okay, that's enough. So now we can also clear out these guys. We don't need the boxes at all right now. And that will give us some space to turn things. We can also delete the entire bar here of this until we get what we want. Okay, so I'm going to get out of the spider tron again and just work it. Just work it. Yo. <gasps> no, I messed up. Ah! Uh, wait, one, two. It doesn't matter, actually. What we can do here... I forgot that these are going to be on the inside and the others are going to be on the outside. It doesn't actually matter. Uh, because... We are going to... Have... Just... It's going to be fine. It will be fine. We do not worry about this. It is not necessary to worry... It isn't precise by any means. This is just a thing. Just a thing that we're doing, and it's going to be great. So, let's get out our belt thingy. Because we want to get this done. No. There we go. That's what we want. This one. And this one. And we might need more. Let's copy these belts. Basically, what we're doing with the belts is we are saving um, bot trips or length of bot trip, really. 
And that does make an impact in factories. You kind of want to minimize that as much as possible. It might seem a bit weird or kind of crazy almost, but it is kind of a big thing, actually. Okay, there we go. Let's take you there. You to the next one. All right, let's go get these things out of here. Okay. Okay, very good. So these are going to get stuff going there. Okay. All right, there we go. And now we have things over here. What do we want to do also though is connect to these roboports, which seem to be quite disconnected right now. Actually, this one should be there, but we don't have power. For whatever reason, we do not have power and we need to fix that kind of immediately. That's important. I'm not sure why we don't have power. Seems very strange to me. There we go, we now have power. But these areas also need power. I forgot that these bot, these uh, box areas, they definitely need power. Um, okay, this is great. Yay. Excellent, we can share power poles with a few of those. That's quite nice. All right, and so all of this produce is gonna be going into these chests here. And that's gonna make things a lot better slash easier. So spiders, ooh, they are doing a lot of work. That seems great. Okay, we can, let's try to unload them here. Cause it looks like they may have too much stuff to be able to do anything. Are they getting unloaded slightly? A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, cause they are basically suffering under an overload right now. I guess I can go over there and see what, if I can unload their stuff even more. I'm not really sure how that's gonna work. I, yeah, they are full to the brim. See, can I click on any of these? Oh, whoops. Whoopsies. I forgot I wasn't even in my spider tron. <laughs> I got out. I went for a walk. It's fine. Okay, you. Hi. What's going on in here? Oh my god, we have so many modules and stuff. Uh, let's see. You. Oh, you're not getting rid of plates. You need to do that. Let's do that. All right. And plates go. I don't know why I had so many modules because we didn't deconstruct any modules. That is really confusing. Like, how did that even happen? I don't really get that. Okay, so for me, I now need to put modules on my do not collect list. Okay, next one. You have too much stuff. What do you need? Oh yeah, we're let's let's set these down to reasonable levels because that is probably part of the the problem here that is plaguing us. Not yet. We haven't found it yet. Okay, we had four power poles too many. 200 lights. That seems like a lot. Uh, what is exactly overloading us? Huh. Just too many of stuff? Hmm. I think we just have way too many of everything. That's probably it. I think let's go back to... God, I hate to get rid of some of this stuff because it's like we need it. Landfill, you know what? We'll just make this at zero for now and get rid of that stuff. Okay, that should give us a little bit of room to play with. Now you have way too many beacons. So we're going to put this at 200. That's probably, oh, I guess it's not part of the problem. Okay. 200 of these. Let's see. Uh, oh, you have plates. Whoops. Okay, iron plates. Put that down to zero. 
There you go. Okay, that's weird that, like, all of a sudden stuff left when I put plates in. Okay. Oh, wow, you you have nothing. But how did I miss this Spider-Tron? Good lord. Okay. This will help a lot. Okay, and your trunk is getting better. I missed everything on this one, I think. What else can we put in? I think that's pretty good. All right, so then you, you also are way overloaded with stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm surprised that we don't have more than 400 of these items. I'm just like, how is stuff not going into the, the pickup trash slots? Jeez. This just feels like there's so much stuff here. Um, I'm going to take off the landfill again, I guess, on this one. Because it's just... Oh, now it ta takes out. Huh. Uh, let's do like 200, maybe. If we... You know what? If we really need a landfilling Spider-Tron, I think I'll just do one Spider-Tron with all the landfill. Because we probably are making plenty of them now. All right, so let's take these Spider-Trons out over here. I do feel like these are disconnected. I'm not sure. Yeah, they are disconnected for sure here. So let's put in extra, uh, yeah, extra towers, extra roboports here that are going to connect. Okay, so let's copy these and go down here. That's fine. Now, this whole thing got messed up. So we're gonna fix. You go there, you go there, you go there. Mm-hmm. Nice. Looks much better now. Oh, I guess I could do that at the bottom, maybe. This is not, not approved by the KOS Commission of in any way, shape, or form. But we're going to do it anyway. As in, like, that was a non-functional thing to do. I try not to do non-functional things, because, like, it's a waste of time. It really is. And it absolutely has zero value. This game is not about pixel art. This is about a factory that running that is running. All right, so now we have a little bit more connectivity where the bots can actually participate in making stuff on this side. Oh, wow, we did a lot of stuff there. That was really nice. Let's see what they do over here. I'm really curious to see. Oh, my goodness, look at this. Oh, fabulous. Really nice. I'm going to take my Spider-Tron down here as well. And these guys also, if we keep them fairly close to the towers, then life will be better. Why is this one... Ah, because we're out of power poles, but we should be able to get this one back soon. Soon, soon. Wow, they're unloading boxes and stuff. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, am I in a roboport zone? Yes, I am. Okay, that's great. We are, this whole area is, which is kind of nice. But yeah, my bots are just, they're clearing stuff and then the the logi bots are clearing it from my system that's kind of the way that um that you can mitigate some of con construction costs because if you do this just in a base right in a base if you deconstruct a chest it's just construction bots but if you deconstruct the chest and your bots are doing it from your power armor you, you collect it on your person and then the Logi bots, which we have thousands of, almost 2,000 here, then those ones get in on the scene. So that's the kind of exciting part about this here, which is interesting and how that works, you know. Oh my god, we are actually getting flow here. This is crazy good. Oh my god, that's great. This is pretty great. Pretty darn great. 
we'll go ahead and move over here and see if we can fill in the um the gaps in the belts i don't know if we have the belts or where they are but because remember that because we are in this logistics zone uh, any of the belts that got deconstructed are going to go into the storage boxes, which a lot of them are out here, but um, the belts are then going to get transferred to us because we're requesting more of them. So we can place those, you know, because we have all this, you know, 50 robots per Spidertron is a lot. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. I have some stuff over here. You go over there, please. Looks like it's almost done. Why is this lane suffering? Okay, there must be some issue here with this line. It is... Oh, yes, it is incorrect. That's why. Okay, so let's copy... Oh, God this section i guess there we go okay so then let's take this one down here so the building train probably has been by and they probably have uh, essentially given us extra furnaces and stuff like that for this build so yeah but um i think are we done oh my god i think we're actually done so anyway, you can see how this really shortens the bot trips. They're now going here, just to the left of this whole thing, instead of always going down, 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 down. Okay, something wrong happened still here. Ah, okay, I didn't copy this bit, apparently. Which is kind of needed. Kind of, kind of needed. Let's see if I can take my Spidertron down there. But yeah, they should take all of the plates and stuff out of storage first, which looks like what they're doing. So that's great. That is kind of great. We can peruse these different um, areas and... Oh, my Spedatron has left without me. I didn't really realize that. Uh, let's see. I can pick up some of these stuff that I think I will need or want this and then that is fine this is fine um oh yeah we can take that at one oh i probably have too many so it's depositing it back <laughs> okay i want to check up here there we did add some chests up here as well the idea generally is now going to be let's empty these we actually need purple chests for this we want to empty all of these chests uh, into other places. And the bots will take the stuff away and then kind of combine them into the other chests that we have. Now, the other, the only issue then is we need to grab stuff. We need to actually load the train with some stuff. The problem is that we have a lot of ore in the station or, or in the uh in the logistics system that i kind of want to get rid of i kind of want to use that before we transfer it back to you know the main base which is definitely not ideal okay what do we got going on here we got a lot of missiles happening we actually don't have that much ore I think I might just do a thing where we tr where we just empty all this into, yeah, main baseland, really. We could probably just do this. I'm going to leave the modules here. Let's put those in a box and this one also in a box. The module bits can stay here. Those definitely belong here. Looks like everything else has been used. I'm really pleased with that. All right, we can now take these off. These are like self-emptying chests, basically. So they are going to collect all this stuff and then move it to the train area. In fact, I'll just chuck those in there. Which is kind of cool. All right, we have finished the long slog. Oh my god. And now we have the bot trips a lot shorter, which is kind of great. Really great. Um, let's see, I can do a thing like that, maybe. 
just gonna want to do stuff here. Maybe. Do we need anything else, really? This is doing gears. I guess it's still making them. Um, we don't really need any more stuff, I think. I think we're pretty good with with things. Though, this could be a very good refill kind of um, place, you know, on the in the middle of nowhere <laughs> to, to go and uh, grab some more uh, stuff. Anyway, I'm really happy with how this turned out. What is this looking like? This is crude oil. Um, all right, let's take our, I think our spider trons are ready for new adventures. So let's go and pack them up and, and hopefully like get some more stuff in inside them. And I, I guess, well, we can just go down now and look at getting these other outposts up and running. We're going to need a massive amount of material. Um, so that's what I'm kind of working on right now is we're getting those, those materials. In fact, uh, we should go back like here, maybe, maybe we'll fix it there. All right. Uh, you'll notice we haven't actually started the the science yet, um, and that's mostly because we don't have enough modules. Modules is really the key to our operations in Endgame. It's kind of, yeah, a big thing. Kind of a big deal. Let's see, productivity. I haven't really done a lot of those. That's really sad that we, we had those broken for such a long time. Right now, what is going on right now? Why are we not producing red chips? Because we're out of plastic. Ooh. What what happened to plastic? Coal? Is it coal that we're not getting? It does indeed look like we're out of coal. I'm wondering, oh, you know what? This thing will never empty. Shoot. Uh okay, we'll do a time past. We'll do like 10 seconds because we need the other, we need the coal train to get in here. So this one was basically blocking this because I was like, ah, yeah, until it's empty. But now we have way too much oil and not enough coal. So that is needed. All right. And this one should also do the same. Yep. Or five seconds of inactivity. I don't know if five seconds would do enough. Like fluid is weird. Cause like even if a single drop flows, that's counted as inactivity. Okay. It does look like we are getting enough coal now that should get the plastic moving again and get red circuits moving again. So that's a plus. How, how is our other red circuit build doing? Now this one is actually getting some modules, which is pretty great. This should be high productivity, but it does look like it's completely out of plastic. Let's find out why that is happening here. We are <laughs> trickling in the plastic. And of course, the reason lack of modules, of course, geez, it's such a strange thing because like at end game, you really want to use modules. That is how the meta is. You just do modules, right? Um, but they are quite a thing to get up and running. That's the main problem. Uh, a lot of times is the modules, but plastic, see, where's our plastic train? I wonder waiting. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, it just derived. Ah, nice. Okay. That's good. That's very good. But I, I wonder if we should just get a second train. Oh, wow. And it, it already spilled everything out. Oh no, 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 no. I kind of feel like making another oil area and just having, Hmm. Maybe we should design an oil area that has, uh, no modules. That is another idea. Cause this place is really suffering and like our main base probably makes more than this. Wait, one, two, three, four. Oh God, I can't count. Um, mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times, what was it? Where are they? Eight times four machines. 
is 32. Um, and in our main base, we have, oh, we don't have 32. We definitely don't have 32. Okay. We've got 24. Are we using all? Yeah, we are actually using all the plastic. So that's, well, it's backing up a little bit, but it's, um, no, it's not backing up. It's used all for red circuits. So, I mean, that is a thing that we could, we could definitely do. We could design a new oil place. Kind of like for this mid game bridge of like, Hey, we don't have enough stuff, but I guarantee we have tons of petroleum. Oh no, we don't. We don't. Ah, because of course we have no modules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so dumb at times. Oh my God. So anyway, so we were here. Let's put in a radar here. Okay, very good, very good. And let's just go along to here and see if we can pick up the rest of that. Um, the other, let's take these guys down and we want them to fix and carefully place down all the miners needed over there. Let's trim a little bit of this belt uh, confusion. Not really confusion, but it's like just too much. Just too many of the belts are here. Don't need them. Not necessary. Okay, very good. All right, we are working on stuff. Why is this thing blinking? Apparently we don't have electricity here. How did that happen? Oh, wow, we just sailed right by this area. Apparently, yeah, my spider apparently does not generate robot happiness because they always have to go back and then we don't even get any coming out. So it's a stop and go thing for sure. All right, here we are. So we needed to actually not do these rails that close because we want to do some editing here I think let's see we want to get our this to be rails out that's a bad copy when I have to change every one of them to that eh I missed the thing okay there we go Excellent. Cool. All right. And do we need a radar somewhere? Probably. Probably up here, actually. When we get the station powered up, it has its own radar, so we don't have to worry as much about that. There we go. Getting in the power poles, doing all the things and the stuff. How are we doing over here? Oh, we haven't arrived yet. Okay. It's fine. They're slow. The Spider-Trons are quite, yeah, slow. Oh, that's fun. Those guys are entertaining themselves, those robots. <laughs> They'll probably leave a, a fair few behind, though, I'm sure. All right. Let's go over here. Let's just do the station. That's going to give us the vision on this area. We'll just fill in what we can here. Quite nice, quite nice. Go, go, go for it. Happiness. The funny thing is I'm actually using like a, I don't know, not borked, but like a temporary solution station instead of the one in the blueprint book. Cause there is actually a, an eight car station in the blueprint book, but I'm not using it. I don't know why. All right, let me park over here and then I'll use the, uh, the stamp for the mining drills. All right. This one goes here. Let 
That's annoying. How did that get out there? All right, fine. We'll take it. Okay, very good. Easy peasy. There we go. It is extremely convenient just to line them up. It's a bit lazy because it's like, eh, I don't want to be doing this. I don't care about actually lining things up. So there we go, though. Makes it easy to set up, though, for sure. All right, how are we doing on the spiders? Okay, so for whatever reason, they're not, they don't have miners, maybe? That's strange. Okay, let's just put them here. Maybe they don't have miners or maybe they have too full of a thingy thingy or something. What's going on here? Spiders? Spiders. Wow, you ran out of fuel. Okay, so blue circuits. Why do you not have fuel? Let's find out. Also, let's figure out where they are. Uh, whoops, here, and we want to just go there. So we'll just follow the, oh, okay, that's not great. Uh-huh, and where are they again? Ah, this is a popular spot to break down. I've seen this before. All right, blue circuits, let's see where that, what's going on with this. Okay, so we definitely need fuel add it addition there are we we're not in a roboport zone so that's even worse just put one there everything else has fueling of course it does why wouldn't it jeez all right how are we doing here did we not pick up any like miners and stuff looks like they're not hmm. grumble 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 this is not great I'm going to just quickly do some um, stuff. I think I think we need to count squares and set up the Spidertrons properly because I'm kind of tired of them having this issue of like being overflowing and stuff. But it's my own fault. I mean, I set them up wrong. I set them up to be like, eh, yeah, take this and this and this. Oh my God, look at how... <gasps> oh my God. Oh, wow. The bot poverty lines, man. Oh my God. That is like, I'm taking screenshots, by the way. That's why it's freezing every now and again. So now we know what's going on here. <laughs> oh my God. So I think what's happening is the bots can't do anything because they're away from their master. Mm -hmm. The master spider tron. Damn. That wasn't great. That was not great. Hmm. Wait, that is also not great there. Hello? Oh. All right, let's fix. And yes, I do notice the trail behind me. That's why I have the bot trails on, actually. So I can see them. All right, so this is actually properly working, which is quite nice. Very, very nice. I kind of am half tempted to put speed modules in the the end module ones, but it's okay. We're not going to we're going to try not to rush it or anything like that. We'll get there and it'll be fine. 47, that's great. Okay, hello. How you doing? You're not doing great. I see that you're lacking in fuel. Let me give you some Actually, give me half back. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, we can come up here. This is our regular module delivery area or making area. We can see what's going to happen here. Oh my God, we have so much stuff to get rid of. Uh huh. My Spidertron seems to be okay in terms of like having enough stuff and all that kind of thing. But yeah, we don't have, well, we have actually, we do have some modules in these areas, which is kind of nice. Item ingredient shortage. They are lacking the regular modules. 
You guys are lacking reds. Ah, the sad times. So that is our main problem that we're facing right now in this factory. Um, I'm kind of feeling like we should do another design episode and do a, just design a refinery specifically to make plastic. Because that is the major issue that I'm seeing is that we just don't have, this is pitiful. Like really? Even though we have that many makers, it's clearly not enough. It really isn't. And this area is kind of low on the totem pole in terms of like delivery of modules. Let's see, is it this one? I think it's this one. So what are, where are we going here? We're going after getting modules. Oh, nice. All these stations are closed. That's fantastic. We go to the module station. Then we go, wow, these are actually closed. I'm surprised. Then we go to red circuits, then blue, then iron, green circuits, and then oil. No, wait. That's oil pickup. I want to actually add the oil thingy thingy. Is it not on here? Oh, that's sad. That's even worse, man. Oh, here it is. Plastic lube. Yeah, that one needs to move down. Um below well you know what let's add it above red circuits i feel like this is definitely needed okay so building module module so this is our non -M no mm i wonder if i should put this on permanent uh on because otherwise it won't go there and we do need it to come there that is important because we that's how we're delivering these modules to places and, and stuff and things. So, all right, what are we going on with the other spiders? Where are they? Oh, they're still over here. Okay. I think we can just go back. Uh, it looks like we finished the track here for this station. Um, but we have no miners whatsoever. I wonder how that came to be. That seems very odd to me. All right, anyway, go back there and let's see our exploratory Spidertron. What are you doing? Where are you? Oh, you're over there, okay. Um, all right, we found a little bit of 582 million iron, 264 copper. This is 174 million radiation-y stuff, uranium. 102,000 crude oil, and that's just what we see. That's a bit wild. We can try to do this. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to never close this station. Um, so what I'm going to do is put down a constant combinator. Mm. Hello? Maybe I don't have any. Yep, I don't have any. There we go. And we'll put in, I don't know, one... What should we put in here? Nuclear fuel. Yes. Something I will never use because I hate it. Oh my god. There you go. So this thing. Yeah, it should not ever close. Actually, I'll, instead of red, I think I should connect it with green wire so it adds to the green wire. There we go. And that way it will look at the green wire and say, Aha! We have one thing needed! And then it will keep the station open so that the building train comes. That's a really important thing to think about, really. Also, this is really not great that we don't have this coal constantly coming in. I wonder if we need to get copy of that train or just another coal train. Um... Kind of like kind of wondering kind of want to get the other train back here okay the, yeah this one is going too far i think what we need is another train that just gets coal all right this is going to be a train that is just single purpose and gets coal only. 
I think that's what we need. Oh, we need to, uh, okay. This one, we're just going to black this one out or red it out, whatever you want to call it. We'll go to rails, all carves, coal. Okay. And you are going to be black. Oopsies. There we go. And grab this station, please. And then empty cargo or inactivity or time passed. We'll do 10 seconds past. I think 10 seconds should be more than enough to unload this thing. Let's see. Take you to coal. I think... Oh. Uh, we said 2,400. If uh, item count cargo coal equals... Greater than equals 2399. All right, then go. Or inactivity, go. I want to see this, this happen. I want to see how this functions and where it's going. And how far is it? It's quite far, actually. And there's no... What is this entrance? What is that about? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. So that is also a problem that it has to go around. That is not great. We need to make some kind of connection there to make that better. Um, but I do want to see, I want to see the timing on this thing. So that's what we're going to keep watching for a tiny bit. But yeah, this thing should have a direct connect to that area. Uh, let me go and can I walk there? Does that work? Let's just go that way for now. Oh, cool. That was cool. It shows up on this map. That's funny. That's really funny. All right. Um, so it's getting coal. Um, all right. It doesn't have enough coal, but it does have enough inactivity. That's surprising. That's actually shocking. Why do we not have enough coal? Kind of looks like it's just not fast enough. Okay. That's a bit weird. I wonder if it's just not enough throughput. That could be the case. Um, and since it's taking from the same car every time, it that could also be an issue. Okay, let's try to get a connection here from there. This looks like it does work there. Okay, perfect. That's quite simple just to go in there. Nice, that should fix that situation. This situation, however, might not be fixable. Oh, well that will, it will help us if we actually open up these boxes a bit. I don't know why I limited them. Is there a reason for that? I don't think so. This is not a resource that's like precious or anything. I think this one just definitely needs to open up to all deliveries here. And that will make the next uh, trains get there faster and stuff. So that's much, much better. Let's go and check out again. Go back to the other station. Just make sure that we have a constant supply of coal. That is all we care about. We just want a constant supply of coal. So, so far, we have run out of coal again. Again. Um, this train is coming back. That's good. But we do need this to be absolutely constant. Okay. This train's coming in. We're going to get some, some more stuff. I kind of am regretting having this situation like it is. I kind of feel like, shoot, I should have had a proper full coal train coming in um it's it's kind of crazy though because it's only one belt that we need we only need one belt of coal and yet it's not definitely not enough the uh, boxes don't seem to hold enough uh, buffer for these two trains to get there well this one is getting there now okay so that's fine that should be there but this is also not a full train remember um, but maybe if we, if we let it buffer a bit, maybe it will work. Let's see when the next train gets here. 
Okay, oil train is next. Which is probably not needed, generally. How's the buffer is looking terrible, pretty much. Let's see, it does say that we need 0.8 belts of coal to keep this thing running. Wow, these, these long copper trains are really coming in here. This is pretty great. But where is my coal? Where is my coal? It is a bit far away. Is there anything closer? There's this one, which we could build. Yep, coal has almost run dry completely. That is an ore train. That is not a coal train. Technically, we could put one up here, maybe. That might be okay. That would delay the iron trains a bit. Uh, we could put one up here where the fuel train is meant to sit. That's another spot. But yeah, we are running out of coal. This is not good. Actually, let's see. Let's caught. Let's stop this train for a minute. If we copy this train completely, I think that would work better. Create blueprint and go. Let's just give you fuel. I should have copied the fuel as well. Go. Oh no, go there. Coal. All right, let's see how this works. Go to coal. Let's see if adding trains works. I think it probably will rather than adding another stop. Kind of reticent to do that. Because it's, eh, I don't know, it's a mess. It's just a mess. It, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a tiny mess if we do that. But I could, like, get the coal coming in, like, here to, to combine with this line here. Okay, that's our oil train. Do we have coal waiting? Not yet. Still unloading coal. Still unloading. So that's good. Once we stop unloading is where, oh, yeah, we have uh, inserters that are empty or boxes that are empty. Uh, it does seem to be fairly consistent going down the line there, so that's good. But, okay. That one probably could use an extra uh, signal right here. I think that would be definitely good. That one is there. Okay, that's fine. Yep, here we go. Okay, we didn't quite run out, so that's good. So that's good, good, good. Okay, that one's working. Do we have another one not lined up yet? Man, this is such a busy train station. I like it. It's really great. This is fun. This is a fun train station. I like it. Okay, next one. We have that one waiting. So this one should be able to go sooner. Yep, that one's going to go now. And it doesn't have to wait till it crosses that signal there because we have the signal breaking up the block there. That's really nice. Okay, we are having coal still flowing, even though the oil was getting out as well. But we have enough oil. We got tons. Actually, though, that train might stand to wait a little bit longer because I don't think it had a chance of even unloading everything. Okay, we're still... Okay, the coal kind of, you know, dried up for a bit there. But now it's back. How's the next train going? Are we... How's this? I wonder if it's just waiting here. No. Though the boxes are, are definitely filling up. They are definitely filling up. Let's see. So the train has to be en route to either one of those stations. Not sure which one. Um, okay. There's a lot of traffic here as well. That's just uh, the way of the game, I guess. And no, I'm not going to get Renai transportation so they can jump over this area. That was a disaster last time I tried it. Oh my god. It was terrible. Absolutely terrible. 
Okay, this is... It's kind of looking okay-ish. It's definitely not great. Um... Because of the belt here, that really prevents us from really doing much with, like, maybe adding an extra car up front or something. Let's see, could we do that, though? Could we add another coal car at the beginning of this train? Ah, oh, but it would mess up all the, like, loading of the other cars, I think, in general. Hmm... Let's see, this one... Okay, 10 seconds is not enough for that one. Let's put it at 20. I think we need another coal something coming in here. We could, I mean, we could, technically we could make another station. I don't really want to, but one of the things also we can do is we can move the fueling station up. Like, up a whole thingy thingy. Let's try that. If we move that up here... That gives us more room to have another station here for coal. <laughs> here is another station for coal! Yes! Um, so if we put that there, we're going to put this... Let's, let's copy the name here. Um, I'm going to call it Coal, coal Drop-Off instead of having all these names. Because this is going to be for a dedicated train. Oh, whoops. Forgot to get rid of the water symbol. And apparently got rid of the coal symbol instead. I didn't mean to do that at all. There we go. Okay, better. So this one is going to be... This is going to be a little bit better. A little bit better. We'll take stuff off here. Let's have two. It can hold three cars. All right, that's fine. We're going to copy this bit here, there, and there, and take, we have to link these guys as well. And we had um, one of these guys right there with the signal for coal. Yes. Okay. Okay, so these, Set filters. Yep, copy. Let's just paste them all down. I don't know why they're not setting the filter for coal. <laughs> That's very strange to me. Whoopsies. Nope. Okay. Uh, water goes away. Yeah, why are these not... Oh, they're not connected. That's why. How weird. I didn't expect that they were not connected. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that, man. That's weird. Stop that. Okay. So these are going to be... We need to move this to there instead. Has to do with the direction that the this thing puts it on the right side of the belt. So these are going on one side of the belt. These three are going on the other. So it is perfectly balanced. Now then... Um, what I think I want to do is do a three to one splitter here. In fact, let's get a train going. Hey, train. Oops. Okay, train and train fuel. Let's take the train fuel. That would be nice, actually. Okay, walk, don't walk, copy, paste. Cool. Put this on the end. Paste. Good. Now then, uh, it did not copy the train fuel. <laughs> Apparently not. Okay, or I don't have any. That's another thing. So let's see. Let's go here. Instead of this station, we're going to go to um, basic, no, coal. No, 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 no. We're going to non -M 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 coal drop off right there. Okay. Um, let's put that first and empty. And here we want to just do full cargo. I think this is the only train we're going to need here. I don't think we're going to need more than one. I think this is going to solve all our problems. In fact, we might get rid of a couple of the other trains because they're just basically creating... Um, 
they're creating traffic and that's it which is not ideal you don't want that to happen actually let's see what do we want here again oh balancers yes belt balancers there you are uh let's get the three to one which should be quite simple it is simple enough okay just want it to be a little bit even as it comes out of the train all right and then where are we going to join this up we can join it probably here i guess this is kind of dumb <laughs> But it's okay. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Now then, let's see how we can get this to work. So what are we replacing here? We could replace... So these are one car each of stuff. Maybe we replace the two cars. I guess that would be replacing two cars with three. Do we want to do that, though? Maybe we should just replace the entire program of those other trains and have two three cars and then one of the mixed cars coming out. That That's, a, that's also a possibility. So like this one, I kind of want to get rid of this one. I want to let's go take it to the station real quick okay so this one is waiting on the 20 seconds is that going out yep there it goes okay it's just under 20 seconds that's a long time so we want this one to come in here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it have the other program or the other uh orders for the other train okay so let's put this in manual mode and i want to copy paste these things all right we're gonna copy paste this entire wait why does this have a symbol on it oh my god it really oh god. okay it's supposed to like deliver 116 uh fuel to it uh-huh okay so you're gonna do the thing there and we're gonna the next small train that oh it's this one actually yeah you go over here and then we're gonna delete this one after it unloads because i think that that's a better option than having like these tiny trains just running around and just you know using space uh because that is kind of a concern when we're having this many trains coming in and out of this area in fact it's probably better if we open up this coal over here because it's closer and they don't have to travel through the main network. This is one of the things that's really useful when you are trying to design your train network. And I hear a lot of people, oh yeah, just go four lanes. No, that is not the answer. Cause like people do these like S, X, X bend, S bend, X things. They are terrible because what the, what happens is that your trains, all they do is they cross constantly they're not intelligent trains are not smart in this game so they keep on crossing and it causes more delay than you get throughput so if you do a four lane system you have to have a really specific plan for that but i think that that's really not necessary unless you're in really high spm land and you design badly honestly if you design badly of course you need more rails but we're going to design smartly so we don't need to have that happen Okay, so let's see. Worker robot speed 10. Sure. We haven't got anything else that I want to do anyway. Unless maybe mining productivity. Let's see. Where is that one? Mining productivity 6 is 7,500. This is 32,000. Wow. Okay. Let's do that one first. Might do a couple of mining productivity ones actually. Um, okay, so this one is empty. I'm going to go ahead and just delete this train because we don't need it anymore. There we go. Okay, so there we go. So this is going to get occasional coal coming in, uh, but the other one is going to be able to get most of the coal uh, delivered. It's got six wagons coming versus whatever we had three here. That was not great. So we have doubled up the expanded coal supply, which I find very amusing. And there we go. So that should give us plenty of plastic. How much do we have? Actually, not much, not much, but we're trying. We are trying here. How's this going here? Are we, 
What are we lacking here? It looks like these are lacking crude oil. Why are we lacking crude oil? Is it, is there, is there none? There is none. Wow. Okay. Well, you know what we could do? We could convert this into not coal. That's probably the better idea, to be honest, to convert this to not coal. Um, and have more tanks here. Ooh, and this is a really good opportunity to have pumps put in. Uh, there they are. Wow, I have 134. That's a new record. That's quite a lot. That's way too many. I usually have like 50 on me or something like that. Wait, what? No! What is going on here? <sighs> okay, let's get the other train back. Um, that's this one. Come back, please. I thought I copied the program, the orders from that train to this one. I guess I didn't. I need to fix that, though, because I don't want this one coming in here. Really don't. Okay. Copy, paste. Yeah, there we go. Go there, please. So this one, I think, yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's, let's control this a little bit better. And we are going to, um, hmm. we need to uh, see what we got here. So we have two, two trains. One of them has the two uh, cargo wagons of oil. That's this one. Okay. And then the other one has the three different cargo wagons with uh, water. Potentially water. There it is right there. And I'm going to ask it to empty its coal. And then, then we're going to add in better, uh, better um, evacuation of the liquid part. So we're going to manually you and we're going to take off the coal pickup. We're only going to go to oil pickup and we're going to change this to a, an oil wagon. Now, technically we could change the third one to an oil wagon as well. Um, this is almost done. It's almost done. It's almost done. It's trickling out, trickling out. Let's see, uh, do a input priority from the left. Yeah. So that should get rid of the coal faster, but these will have, this one will have a more frequent, uh, return time because it doesn't have to go to the coal station as well. Okay. Is this one done? This one is done finally. Okay. So we're going to make you just go to oil. So go, go to oil, go to oil. And now I want to get rid of all this stuff, but this is going to take a tiny bit to empty out, but it should get there, should get there soon. But yeah, I'm going to mirror this over there as well. And we're just going to make this different. So this one, I guess we need to change the weight conditions on this one as well. We're going to have to do time passed or, uh, like, I don't know how many seconds, maybe, oh, wow. 10 seconds is good. I think 10 seconds is good. Um, because if we don't, then the building train and the fueling train are going to be stuck behind it, waiting for it to empty out. So we don't want that to happen. Okay, how are these going? These are doing stuff and things, taking a while. But... Oh my god, the episode's gone way long again! I hope that is exciting for, for some. I know that some people are... I don't know why people like shorter episodes. Let me just put it that way. I always love like long episodes whenever I watch uh, YouTube and stuff. Because it's like, you know... You know, you kind of chill, but I wonder if people are like timing stuff by me. 
as in like, oh yeah, I can only eat breakfast for 45 minutes and KOS only does 45 minute episodes, not ones that go over an hour. Oh my God, what? No, mm -mm. no, that's not a thing. <clears throat> yeah, anyway, so um, I think this is a good time to say goodbye. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.